Mahalo team kids, how is it going? This is the weekend preview video for January 18th and 19th. I am filming this video from my basement. As you can tell, I am not in Hawaii. At least, I guess you wouldn't know that, but this is my basement and I'm filming this prior to going to Hawaii. So for you, this is last week. For me, this is right now, but I'm filming this so before I go, so that way I don't have to worry about anything when I'm on vacation. Um, must be nice, I know. Anyway, I'm filming this so that way you will be prepared for the lesson this week. And so I'm giving you all the information I know as of January 8th. So there you go. Here's the week in preview video for this week. So let's jump right on in and get weird. Here we go. This next section, all the things, is a overview of things that are right now or coming up for, for the 4th through 6th grade ministry or just Life Center in general. And, uh, and so I'm actually going to be rerunning the same section from the previous week, which ironically enough for me is like 30 minutes ago. For you, it's like over a week ago. I'm sorry, this is getting really confusing. Anyway. Here's a recap of those things that I covered last week. So this first section is called All the Things because I just want to go over some things that you should be aware of and, uh, and things that are coming up in the ministry or things that are right now in the ministry. Um, the first thing that I have on this list is prayer requests. One of my big goals for this year and something that God has put on my heart to really press into in 2020 is prayer and specifically prayer. Um, engaging God in intercessory prayer, prayer for people. And uh, and so I have a list, um, a Google sheet that I put together for any prayer requests that you guys are going through, um, anything that you guys are experiencing that, that you feel needs prayer. I would love to partner with you in praying for those things. Um, such, a, such a gift and a blessing to be able to do that. So if you could just click on that link in the email here and fill out something that's specific to a prayer request that you have, um, you don't have anything that's great but uh, so no no reason to be compelled to do this just a option for you if you have something that needs prayer the next thing on that list there is a our Bible reading plan journals um, for the last couple weeks we've been talking about this in our huddles and I just want to encourage you I know we, we've been talking about this as a church and specifically as a ministry and uh, if you are unaware we have these reading plan journals that we've handed out as a church um, and uh, I've added these awesome stickers to it because they're available at the, at the Welcome Center and they're pretty fun. Um, but uh, the purpose of this is to get in the Word, to be a community of God who engages God through His Word. And, uh, and we want you as leaders to be feeding yourself, preparing yourself with God's Word to teach and to proclaim God's Word to kids. And, uh, and the big thing is this, it's going to be a, a up and down year. There's going to be times where you're going to seasons where you're going to be jumping in and feeling like God is present and speaking with you. Um, that's awesome. And then there's going to be seasons where like you just miss a couple days, you miss a week or you miss a month and you're like, oh, I feel discouraged. Well, Joe has a very helpful thing that he says and it, he compares it to reading the Bible to eating. If you miss a meal, you, what do you normally do? You just go, oh, God damn it, I forgot to eat. Uh, might as well just give up eating forever. No, that's not what happens. I hope at least that's not what happens to you. Um, no, we, we get right back in. We, if we miss a meal, we go and, and, and eat another meal right after that. Or we, we find a way to compensate for that. And it's the same way with God's word. We can't just neglect it and think that it's not going to have a huge impact on us. And so I hope you're engaging God's word. hope you're connecting with it and you're using it to 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 lead you as you uh, follow Jesus and help these kids find and follow Jesus. And then the last thing regarding uh, regarding this is specific to our small group leaders and, and people who've been leading in the groups for, for a little while. In September of this past year, we did something called the Groups Launch. And uh, we had kids sign up for small groups and, uh, and there was a bunch of kids that signed up. And, um, and I really wanted to bring this up because there's a lot of names on this list that you may not have seen in your guys' small group in a while. Well, 
this is a great opportunity because we have those names and that information where you just take a look at that list and see if there's any names that you haven't seen in a while and then maybe send a friendly just hi how's it going email to, to parents and just let them know that their students are missed loved and appreciated just a great way to just show value to the families and let them know that we are we're grateful uh, that they're part of our church and we want to help their kids find and follow Jesus any way that we can help. So that might be a fun thing to do um, over the course of this next week or so to reach out and connect and make sure kids are, are feeling valued. In this next section, we're going to go through the fourth and fifth grade things for this week. We are in our second week of this series, Proverbs or Proverbs, it's an action star's favorite book because it's pro verbs. Really? I'll wait. I'll wait for you to laugh. I know you're laughing. Okay. Anyway, Tammy Lights is going to be teaching this weekend. She's going to be talking about this topic. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. She's going to be talking about patience talking about patience and the importance of patience and how patience is an act of wisdom and how we are called to live in uh, in this understanding of, of patience and applying it to our life. And so we're going to do a couple different things in small groups. We're going to do an activity at the start of small group time and uh, the instructions for the activity are in your activity guide, which um, is going to be attached in this email. Uh, we don't normally do activities in small groups with fourth through fifth graders, so this should be a fun one. Um, it's a, it's meant to be something that challenges this idea that we as people tend to not be very patient, and specifically kids folk struggle with this as well. And uh, and so there's a sheet in your bins, and you can split the kids up into groups, and uh, and. Um, have them try and accomplish this activity together. Um, so you'll hand it out. There's 17 things, I believe, on the sheet. And the first one says, read all of the instructions before beginning. Well, if they do that activity and they read to the bottom, the last thing says, skip all of the steps and wait patiently and laugh at everyone else who's doing the steps. Because the if they realize, just read to the end and follow the first instruction, they'll realize that they've won. It's a very simple activity, but we make it more complicated than it is. And this is an example of what patience is all about. We're going to be talking about how we can live patient lives and how God calls us to live a patient life. And so this activity should be a fun one to kind of enjoy as the kids um, <laughs> struggle through it um, and, uh, and just realize we all, this is something that we all equally struggle with. Um, and then at the end of the small group time, there's some more stuff in your bins. There's some magnets as well as some some uh, cards that you guys can put on the magnets. And so each of the magnets has a little sticky side that you just take off and put the card on there. And on the card, it says HALT, which stands for, am I hungry? Am I angry? Am I lonely and am I tired? And it's an acronym to work through as you are processing things and, and uh, it f allows us to, to wait and to focus uh, before we make big decisions, before we do anything, to allow time to process. Is this the best time for me to do whatever God's calling me to do or do I need to be patient and do I need to wait? Um, and those four questions are four things that we should be aware of as we are making decisions. Um, we should we should make sure that we have an answer to those questions, um, or we might end up making a, a bad decision. So, anyway, all of this is in the the leader guide. Um, just wanted to kind of just go over that with you, um, and uh, and the this the materials will be in your small group bins. And so, if you uh, if you have any questions. I would encourage you to pray because <laughs> I'm not going to be available, um, but also ask Sam Shad, and I'll include his email address in this. Um, in this, and you can ask as well during the the huddle, um, the pre-service huddle. 
which is uh, which is a really good time to recap and go over this activity before small group time. So that's what's coming up in the fourth through fifth grade section. So now let's jump ahead to the sixth grade things. All right, well, this section is going to be very unhelpful because I do not have the small group sheet yet from Mitch that he's putting together for this week. And so I don't know what the main focus is going to be. I do know that we're going to be building on the previous week, or for me, this week. And we're going to be talking about wisdom one more time. And uh, and, and so the focus will, will be uh, building off of the previous two weeks where we've been talking about how Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and how we as people are called to grow in wisdom. And it's fun that it just partners up with what we're doing um, with the fourth through fifth graders as well on this topic of wisdom. And so um, even though I don't have a bunch of information on what we'll be discussing, I will be including the leader sheet uh, that Mitch will be giving me next week for me, a couple of days ago for you. And, uh, and I will make sure that it's attached in this email so that way you can look it over and prepare for this weekend or next weekend. I guess it all depends on what future you are in. Anyway, I'm excited uh, to hear about how things go. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm joyful that you are uh, leading these sixth graders and pointing them to Jesus and doing all this. This is such a, a blessing that... Um, that even though there's been so much kind of going on within the context of this this ministry and this class, you guys have been so faithful and have been in, engaging and leading these kids so well. And so I thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you um, for all that you're doing. And God is going to continue to bless this in, in, in a way. And I am looking forward when I get back. I have some fun ideas about how to uh, develop and encourage and um, continue to help these sixth graders find and follow Jesus as we move closer towards them graduating, which is coming up in just a few short months. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, thank you for, for everything, and I will see you when I see you.